Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. What's going on, guys? I'm Jake, the Offensive Luke. Gamer, and this is The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 3, Part 4. Luke, it's me, Clementine. It's safe to come out. What's with the blood? Oh, don't tell me he's a walker. I get the strangest feeling that he's a walker. Luke, where is he? He was all like pale and everything before. Ah, uh, don't tell me he got bit. That looks really old. He's probably fine. Fucking hope so. I like Luke. Luke ain't so Luke, bad. If you're hiding, come out. Oh, that would really suck. Oh, shit. I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this. I was... You ain't supposed to be out here. Ah, uh, fuck. You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up. Well, you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! Did I just screw that up? Oh, shit. Get over there. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? With theft? What's going on? I don't know, Clem. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start. By telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Two. I got I got it right here. Oh shit. Oh, Kenny. Fuck. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. sure these folks don't get into any more trouble yeah okay Carver's a real cocksucker no supper for y'all tonight maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective and we'll try this again tomorrow do your best with him Carlos you need to get him able to move because we're leaving tonight we're leaving tonight Oh no, don't tell me he's dead. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we can get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry, I got reckless trying to steal some food, and I got caught. We can't stay here. Exactly. 
We have no idea how long Alvin's got before Bill just kills him. We have to leave now. Look, I hear what you're saying, but it's risky. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? Look, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit, Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up, okay? We should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreed to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. I'm just saying we got to be sensible about this. Where's Kenny? Doc's over there working on it. And don't look good. Can I see him? I don't think that's a good idea. His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. Ah, shit. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. No! I'm not leaving there's Kenny. There's no other... Wait, Fuck that. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people. And now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? What are you saying? No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. Fuck that. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Because... You won't have to. Hey. I'm all right, hon. We leave tonight. Plan don't change. You are one tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? You all right? It's all right. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now? Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We could meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Alvin could do it? No, fuck you. I'm tired of doing shit. Why is the child always the one that has to do stuff? Wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? I'm gonna need a boost. God damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Down into the office. Outdoor speaker switch. Turn on PA. Up to the roof. Down into the stock room to meet you guys. That right? Perfect. Hope she remembers that because I probably won't. Be careful. Okay. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. That dude's probably fucked. Like, being honest about it, he's probably dead. Or very close to it. And he ain't Kenny, so I don't give a shit about him. Fuck. Alvin, are are you okay?
Well, fuck. Alright then. Well, he was already dead in my previous playthrough of this, so... Or, episode two, I should say. So, oh well. I grieved for him already. Okay, now the mic. What? What's wrong? Ah. No, 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 no. No, where are they? God damn it. Found one. Because I'm brilliant. Come on, come on. Please work. This 4th of July, make sure your backyard barbecue oh, is fuck yeah. with Howe's full line of products to meet your grilling needs. Here we go. And Alvin's a walker. No, he's alive. Never mind. Alvin! Are... are you okay? Carver talks all the tough guy shit, then keeps the tiniest gun in the universe. There's <laughs> something funny about that. You have the project, we have the know-how. How? Come on, we have to go. I ain't going anywhere. But you are. Go on. I mean to get some payback. No, we're leaving. We're all leaving. I ain't fit to move, kid. Uh, I've, I've run out of road. Let's... No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. Thank you. You take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> I'll be honest, that was a way better death for Alvin, so... Maybe there was some good thing about losing those saves. You want to disrespect me? Fine. You want to throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all? It's fucking fine. Wanna run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that baby before I let you leave again with my child. It's not yours. You don't fucking know that. And it. Ha. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Get back. Motherfucker. How about that? Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. Clem, where... Why isn't Alvin with you? Where is he? Alvin! Da, 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 no, no, don't lose oh, focus. God, I am so sorry. Kill him. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God. How did we get here, you and me? This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Shoot him. Come on, let's go. But, but what do we do with- That works. I love Kenny. <laughs> oh shit. Go on, oh. and wait outside. We have to go. Kenny, please. I only need a minute. Go on, you don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. Kenny, please, don't do this. 
It's gotta be done, Clem. Look at you. You fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. Not making a better case for yourself there, Bill. That's alright. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on, Clem. Fucking big man, huh? Let's go. No, I'm not letting you see this. It's not your decision. Atta girl. She ain't afraid to look it in the eye. You go with that feeling you got right now, Clementine. That's what makes you stronger than Come the rest on. of them. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. If it's gonna happen, I wanna see, see it. Last. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. How's that eye? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should've put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. The fuck are you looking at, bitch? Don't act like you didn't love every second. I'm, I'm all right. Come on. We got enough to worry about. Shit. I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck. This is fucked. Here. You're gonna need something. Thanks. Ah, hey, I pressed the fucking button. Okay. We're good. We're good. I was there for a second. You guys better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live. Or you can die here. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, God. Do it quick. We need to get covered before the rest of them Shut get up, close. Sarah. This is I'll go first. You're gonna put that on yourself? Ain't the first we time. Have to, Sarah. Oh. Now you. Oh, I messed up my jacket. It smells gross. Shit. Everybody shut the fuck up. Okay, up honey. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost on us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start. Hey, hey, hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you. You hear me? This guy's gotta die. Troy. Troy, we talked about this. What? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen. Not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did. But now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we... Oh! 
Fuck. Come on. Don't make any noise. Got it? Oh. They might hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. What is it with castrations all of a sudden? Outlast and then this shit? Jesus. Oh my god. Why? Just why? Why? You had to shoot him in the dick. Is that Tavia? Where's Bill? We need him up here. Stay calm. They're gonna shoot one of us. Gonna be okay. Don't worry. Watch Sarah. Quiet, honey. Clementine, come help me. Do it for God. Please, just say something. You're a friend. Fucking babysitting someone. Dad! Oh no! Fuck! You fucking idiot. Oh, Christ. Give me my fucking axe back. Fuck me, man. Cut her hand off. Brilliant. Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get someone killed. You didn't have to take the radio. Carver wouldn't have hurt me like this. Of course I had to. No telling what that ass white would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? Not now. Not now, damn it. Damn it, where the fuck is Luke? They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. Alright, so that was the end to uh, The Walking Dead, episode 3 um, of season 2, and uh, it started off kind of slow in my opinion, I, I wasn't too fond of it at first, I was thinking to myself, you know, considering, you know, the last episode was arguably my favorite, um, I felt like it was taking a bit of a step in the wrong direction, uh, but uh, I'd say about past the third quarter mark, you know, like, we're around 70, 65, 75% into, into the episode. I feel like it really started to uh, put itself together to make it, uh, you know, to to recover itself, I suppose is the best way to describe it. Um, th there was a lot of stuff that happened uh, at the end of the episode, and it felt like almost as if it was kind of cramming in some of that dramatic stuff just for the sake of it. Um, but even with that, I don't mind it too much, uh, and, and honestly, the, uh, not having those saves, I really don't feel like it, af it affected that much, which just kind of goes to show, uh, how little your choice affects things in this game. Not that it's a bad game, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, those choices don't really do that much. Uh, Alvin was alive, and I actually like the way he died in this one a lot more than he did in my, uh, episode two. Oh, Michael Madsen voiced Carver? 
cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I, okay, so basically Carlos and Alvin died, uh, obviously, I'm pretty sure Carver died, and, um, I'm probably missing one or one or two other characters, but, um, oh yeah, that one guy that got shot in the dick, that was, that was brutal. I would have probably reacted worse to that if I hadn't gotten so desensitized from Outlast, but, um, still nonetheless, that was pretty brutal. Uh... Yeah, I don't really have very much to say about this episode. I, I I appreciated I appreciated it for the most part, and I like how they wrapped up the whole Carver storyline. I really like that they gave you the option to stay and watch uh, Carver get killed. Um, part of me wanted to say no to Kenny and tell him not to do it, but when it was like this is gonna happen, I first of all I wanted to see that shit, and on top of that, it, it's an interesting choice for you to be able to develop Clementine's character. You could either make her still maintain that sort of little girl inside of her, or on top of that, you could decide to show that she's not the same person anymore and that she's a little bit more vicious and a little bit more brutal than she used to be. And uh, I really appreciate that, and, and you know, I like that idea, and I want to I see where that goes with Clementine, and I think I'm going to change the way I, I use her character in the next few episodes if I get the opportunity to. Um... But other than that, I think I think that that's about it. I'm sorry that this uh, to anybody who may have been expecting a more uh, a more involved commentary, uh, and to the people that weren't. Hopefully, I wasn't too annoying and loud for you. Uh, but you know, that that's just kind of how you have to have to be for this game. That's just how that's just how it is. There's a lot of dialogue, and you don't want to talk over a lot of it. Uh, by the way, I I cut out the music here just for sake of you know possible copyright. Um, any hoosers, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, and I will try to keep track of when the next episode comes out. Most likely The Wolf Among Us will be out next month, and I will be sure to, uh, I will be sure to post that soon. There's a lot of other games that are coming out soon that I'm going to be doing, uh, Wolfenstein being one of them, uh, The Forest, this, uh, indie horror game, and a couple others. Anyway, um, just, you know, stay tuned for those, I suppose, and, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and all that, and I will see you guys next time.